Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you this morning or today to be with us, Father God. We ask you to allow the Holy Spirit onto the podcast to pour out his wisdom and knowledge unto us. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Just like every Sunday, we have a new memory verse. Um, memory verse of the week is Hebrews 13. 13 and 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Verse of the day is 1 Corinthians 2.14. The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him. He's not able to understand them because they are spiritual discerned. Subject, I'm not natural. I'm spiritual. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you an opportunity to say it if you like. I'm releasing the bad. I'm standing on God. I'm needing Jesus. I'm praising God with everything in me. When someone is paralyzed, they are unable to move their body. A lot of times this happens when something has happened or the nerves are damaged or if they can get, they have gotten an infection in their body. However it happens, they lose mobility of their body. Sometimes the whole body and sometimes half of it just depends. But it happens. They are in need of serious care. They can't do things on their own. They usually need someone to help them. One morning as I was praying, the Holy Spirit showed me a body that couldn't move. And as I looked closely, it was a spirit standing over the body. And he showed me the spirit leaving. And the person was able to move again. And when it drew near, the body went into a paralyzed state again. I heard the Lord speak to me and say that the people of God are paralyzed by what they allow in. And the people of the world are being paralyzed by what they don't understand. And a lot of times what happens is we as believers don't take it serious about the things the Lord is trying to ask us to stay from. We don't hear him when he speaks. We don't try to stay away from the things of the world. We just compromise. We make excuses for why we are allowing certain things to occur in our lives. The people of the world take no notice of anything because they don't understand what they are doing. And to the extent we do. But some of us don't care too much about our spiritual life to make the change. In the verse today, the Holy Spirit wants us not to be the natural person of this verse. He wants us to do to understand and be spiritually discerned. When we are like this, we won't allow the things of this world to paralyze us. A lot of times, not able to move from a situation, we say we are too invested. But God is saying to let go. Sometimes we are paralyzed spiritually because we are are letting the infection of sin penetrate our daily lives. So much that is causing us to be more of a problem than anything. How long will we allow the enemy to paralyze our lives? How long are we going to allow what we are to enter into our eyes and take charge over our bodies? A lot of times we watch and see our see are hindering us from growing spiritually. That's why we must be careful what we watch and careful what we do. First Corinthians 4 and 20 says this, for the kingdom of God does not consist in talk, but in power. This world has no power. This world can only tear someone down with words and action, but has no true power. But God has true power. God has power over everything in our lives. How long will we sit and allow this world to think it has power over us and power over what we do? We have to start telling the enemy no and rebuke him and tell this world, you can't have power over me because I belong to God. God gave us power and gave us strength and we must walk in it. As long as we are like this world, power is gone. And this effects of our sin that paralyzes us. Sin doesn't make us grow. Sin doesn't help us connect. And sin does sin disconnects us from God every time. First Corinthians 2 13. And we and we impart this in word, not taught by human knowledge, by human wisdom, excuse me, but taught by the spirit, interpreting spiritual truth to those who are spiritual. When we study the word and we allow the Holy Spirit to teach us, we are being taught by him. And he can give us such a deep meaning than what anyone could ever give us. The truth is we will forever need the Holy Spirit to grow deeper to change. As we change, as we grow, we learn. But when we just ignore the Holy Spirit and we refuse to change, we become paralyzed because people being in this state is connected is in this state is connected to this world they don't take notice of the things that causes this but if we genuinely notice we will see that something is off because we can discern the moment the disconnect happens so the question is asked again how long will we allow our spiritual life to paralyze us today wherever god is asking you to release please listen 
The spirit that has seen will stay and paralyze your spiritual life as long as you are disobedient. The spirit will cause you to waver. The spirit will cause you to not understand the word because that's what the spirit does. We must let go of anything the Lord is saying to leave alone. We must generally turn our hearts away from the things of this world. This world is temporary, but God, love, and word stands forever. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us through our tough times. We only have you and need only you every day. We struggle with something and we surrender it to you. Lord, help us to draw closer to you. Lord, if we are ignoring you, please help us turn from our ways and hear your voice. Lord, we need you to be part of our life. We rebuke the spirit of disobedience and rebellion. We rebuke the spirit of unbelief and anything carnal right now. We turn to you today. Father, release it and, and we release it all to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the reference today is 1 John 2, 27. But the anointing that you receive from, from him abides in you. And you have no need that anyone should teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about everything and is true, it is no lie, just as it has taught you, abide in him. 1 John 2, 27. John 10, 26 and 27. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. John 10, 26 and 27. Matthew 16, 23. But he turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me for you are not selling your mind on the things of God, but on the things of men. Matthew 16 and 23. Further reading, Proverbs 7, Exodus 8, Judges 2. 1 Thessalonians 3. If you're looking for the further reading, the reference, the verse of the day, the memory verse, is at the bottom of the bio, along with a tag to link to devotional, different sites the devotionals are posted on, just in case you want to read it. This ends, I'm not natural, I am spiritual. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loved you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow whatever platform you're on. Remember to send to a family member or a friend. And remember to post on your social media if you don't mind. Thank you. Be blessed.